Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry. He's Scott Carter. The Florida Gators take on the Missouri Tigers this week for homecoming game. Key Southeastern Conference East Division game for both teams. Both of them are very, very much still in the uh, SEC East Division race. Both coming off difficult losses last week. The Gators, of course, lost on a field goal with three seconds left to LSU. Missouri got torched up pretty good by Georgia. I believe the score was 33 to nothing. Big game for both teams, though, Scott. Both, like I said, both still in the race. Yeah, they are. It was 34 nothing actually. But, okay. yes, both teams are still in the race. Obviously, they're going to both need a win on Saturday here at the Swamp. And, uh, you know, for Florida, a very disappointing loss. I mean, they, they felt like they had that game if they'd made another play. About three or four different opportunities in that game. If they'd made the play, they'd probably leave with the win. That's kind of been the message this week around the team. Uh, but they also have to rally here fast because if they want to stay in the thick of the SEC East race, which at this point, you know, if they keep winning or if they can just string together some wins and the Kentucky loss and they get what they want eventually, but, you know, they got to win some games. That's a lot of ifs right now. But they're going to do it with, uh, you know, a different look at quarterback. It will be a different situation at the quarterback position. Jeff Driscoll again had his struggles with three turnovers. Treon Harrison, he will, sw will split time at that position. What the percentage is, we're not sure about, but Kurt Roper and both uh, uh, and Will Muschamp have shed a little light on that this week. Yeah, I mean, both have made it sound like, you know, you're going to see both guys. They're, Jeff Driscoll likely to start, start, but it sounds like you're going to see some tree on Harris. So, I mean, they're just going to take a look at, I don't know, it could be drive by drive, series by series. It, it really is, does remain uncertain how they're going to use them. But we're going to see both guys. And, you know, from what we've seen of tree on Harris and limited playing time, he has provided some much needed energy. He's made some plays. Kurt Roper uh, said yesterday that one thing, he seems to be a playmaker. I mean, you can't really teach that. It's something that a guy has or doesn't. And obviously, Jeff Driscoll is going to still play an important role in this team. They're not turning away from him completely. He's still going to have a lot of opportunities. And, you know, I don't know exactly how the quarterback situation is going to be uh, on Saturday, but it's going to be a little different than what we've seen. Both Muschamp and Roper have said they may determine who has the hot hand now. Matty Mock didn't have a hot hand last week against Georgia, but he had a very hot hand last year against the Gators in that win for Missouri up in Columbia. Yeah, these guys uh, remember Matty Mock very well, uh, led Missouri to a 36-17, a convincing win last year out in Columbia. And, you know, he's uh, having another good season. The guy, when he's able to uh, get out of the pocket, that's where he's really dangerous. DJ Turk and the defensive coordinator today talked about that. Once he gets outside the pocket, it really – test the defense because then he can run or still make pass. He, he's always looking to pass even when he's on the run. That's just a dangerous element that he brings and you know if Missouri plays well around him offensively that's a huge concern for Florida's defense because he's a tough guy to defend and uh, the Gators uh, had their issues last year and they'll, we'll see how that goes on Saturday. Gators against Missouri Saturday in the Swamp. You got Gator Grout Friday night. You have the Gator basketball team starting practice. Big weekend in Gainesville this week. Scott Carter will be here. Chris Harry will be here. Hopefully you'll be here and we'll see you guys next week.